What is going on YouTube? Fascinating graveyard here on this beautiful and brisk evening at the North Babylon St. Joseph Catholic Cemetery on Long Island, New York. And today I am here to visit the grave of one Bob Keeshan, better known to millions of people around the world as Captain Kangaroo. An interesting start to Bob Keeshan's career. So after he graduated high school, he joined the Marines Reserves and he did that for about a year or so. After he got out of there, his first job on TV was playing on a 1948 children's television program called Puppet Playhouse, which is the precursor to Howdy Doody. And on that television show, he played Clarabelle the Clown. And he had that job for a few years. And then one day he gets fired. I guess they were hating on a kangaroo. I don't know. There's player haters everywhere. Even in the 50s, there was player haters. So a couple months later, he got another job on another television children's program called Time for Fun. So he did that for two years. And the producers of that TV show, they liked him so much they approached him and they said, hey, listen, Bob, we want to give you your own television show. You got four days to come up with something and we're going to start filming. Four days. So you can imagine that Bob is up all hours of the night smoking cigarettes and drinking beer. Now, I can't confirm whether he smokes cigarettes or drink beer, but that's what I would be doing. If you told me I got my own television show and I got four days to come up with a concept and come up with an idea, I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? So him and his friends and his family, whoever would listen to him, they probably brainstormed for about four days. And they came up with a television show called The Tinker's Workshop. Now, that show was so successful... It actually beat the ratings of the Jack Parr show and the Today Show at the time. And from that show, Captain Kangaroo, the character, was born. And so with Captain Kangaroo and his friends, Mr. Green Jeans, Bunny Rabbit, Mr. Moose, oh, and Dancing Bear and Grandfather Clock. Don't forget about Rolo the Hippo. All of his friends would entertain children for the next almost 30 years. Now, uh, Bob did suffer a heart attack, I believe, in 1981. So that might have limited him somewhat on what he could do. He started suffering health problems. And I believe about 1984, the show... Uh, finally ended and they did still produce parts of the show and that ran it until the early 90s I think they were reruns but they would reproduce them if you will and after his wife died uh, Bob moved up to Vermont and that is where at a hospital I believe in Windsor Vermont uh, he died on January 23rd Now, I remember his grave is right over here. I was almost going to say that he died on 2003, but it was 2004. This is the grave of Captain Kangaroo. How did we go from Captain Kangaroo to story time with weirdos? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened to our childhood? What happened? 
Somebody tell us why. <laughs> why why do we have story time with weirdos? What happened to Captain Kangaroo? And Big Bird. And Bird and Ernie. They were just a couple of regular puppets. What happened? Everything is upside down now. Everything is upside down. I wonder what the captain would think about what's going on on a lot of children's television programs nowadays. Anyways, enough about that. Rest in peace to Robert and Gene Keyshawn. All right, guys. Fascinating graveyard. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs me up, thumbs me down. Hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload. I'm out of here. Peace out.